A large crowd of Perry residents gathered to celebrate more than 100 years since the Perry Carnegie Library opened for business. The day was commemorated with the unveiling of a bronze statue that will sit in front of the historical landmark. Perry resident Linda Franklin portrayed Lucy Minor Boys, one of the founding figures of the library's history. I know it's still going to be here in another hundred years because the love of reading and a good story is ageless. The structure was built in 1909 and officially became open to the public in 1910. And 100 years later, town residents still love and appreciate the library. Well, you think of all the young people that come in here and uh, the little kids downstairs in the children's library. Oh, you'd just be amazed. They. They love every minute of while they're here. Ladies with the Perry Progress Club, along with the Friends of the Library group, work to raise money for improvements in and around the structure. Bonnie Kendall's love for this library stems from her childhood days. Going back to the library when I was in school, my dad did not read very well, and he liked um, Zane Gray. So I would come to the library and check out books for him. <laughs> And I would read to him <laughs> because he he could read some of it, but he was not educated like most people are. You know, he was a hard dirt farmer boy, and that's all they knew. But my dad enjoyed the books that I got, and I think maybe that's why um, we have hung with the library. You know, in a lot of ways. The library director, Jeffrey Corolo, describes how Andrew Carnegie made his way across the country and around the world establishing libraries. Carnegie originally set up 25 libraries here in Oklahoma. He did those initially in the early 1900s, and uh, a lot of the communities, as they outgrew the smaller buildings, have converted them to other uses or actually torn them down. Uh, a few caught fire, things of that nature. But uh, we're, this community has always loved this library. I don't think they would ever have any intention of moving to a different facility. It's, it's an icon in our municipal square. Who's worked at the library? Uh, personally, that's what I've done as my career. Is this library different than other 